What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you a little bit on the Eximu um, emulator and how to convert your files. If you've downloaded the ISO files and you're having issues running them, I'm going to show you how to get them to properly run as easy as possible and as fast as possible. This was a big headache I had. I was had some games and I was trying to run them and they weren't running so you're gonna have to convert your files so how to convert your files once you have this and obviously if you didn't know already you're going to be downloading it through emu deck so I'm on my steam front end right now so I'm just gonna go over to the desktop mode we'll switch to desktop here real quick and once we're on desktop mode we're gonna load up emu deck We'll load up emu deck here if you guys are having any issues with emu deck or the steam deck let me know what you'd like to know or you're having an issue with and i can try and possibly make a video a little tutorial for you so in order to convert your iso files you're obviously going to have to have your iso files on your steam deck then you're going to come down into the emu deck launcher go over this little scroll option here we're gonna scroll down to emu deck compressor. So when you read over this, it says you can have, this tool will convert, convert ROMs, CHD, RVSs, trim 3DSs, uh, IXOs, and seven zip formats. It doesn't mention it is able to actually convert ISOs to X ISOs, which essentially you need. It's a compressed ISO. So once you have your ISO file, you need it compressed to run on the XEMU. So once you have your compress, once you have your file, now you need to compress it. So we're gonna come in here and scroll down. Most tedious part about using the front end is always using the cursor without a mouse. And then you're gonna open the compression tool. So now once you're here, you're gonna go Sorry, let me get the phone focused. You're gonna go select ROM. And don't be worried about it doing everything. That's why you're selecting a single ROM. You don't want a bulk compression, you want a single. And then you're gonna go ROM to XISO. Yes, you're converting an ISO to an XISO. It will work, trust me. Click this option, go down to select. And now it's going to open your, your files. Go through, grab the file that you need, and compress that. I'm not going to do that. I've already done it. Um, it's saying I've converted everything because I didn't convert anything. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna snap into my game and show you that I'm successfully running some games on the Steam Deck Eximu Launcher. If you're unsure about how to operate the Eximu launcher, I'll have a separate tutorial on that at some point. Essentially, once you have opened the launcher, you have to treat it like a real console. You have to use the load feature. And once you've loaded your game into the console, you have to reset the console. And once you've reset the console, then your game will boot up. You're tuned to Crash FM. Welcome back to the world of burnout. It's time to go 
turns out for revenge. It's taken event organizers over a year to find the ultimate locations to fight and crash. Competitors will be charging hard through the... All right, and that was my short little video on how to compress a ISO file to be able to play on the Steam Deck. I hope you guys found this video useful. Like I mentioned, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Also hope you enjoyed the gameplay for Burnout Revenge. This is on the original Xbox if you weren't sort of getting that from the emulator tutorial. Thank you guys for tuning in. 
Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe here if you're new to the channel, and catch you in the next video.